everybody. I'm in the store looking at the Offers tab and specifically the Legendary Bundle. And after thinking about it for a bit, I'm of the mind that the Legendary Bundle might be a good deal, especially if you're looking to buy the Orkin anyway. In the past, the Orkin came with Jersey Swirsky, but now I hear that there is a new commander that is available if you buy the ship. I believe it's the equivalent of a Dewey type commander. It's a general purpose commander. So I believe I'm gonna get, or anybody who buys this uh, legendary bundle will get the commander on top of everything else. So the cost of the ship normally is 12,500 doubloons if you go into the store and buy the ship directly from the store. So here for less than 12,500 doubloons for 11,250 doubloons you get the ship you get this flag and you get this insignia so for less than the cost the normal cost of the Orkin you're gonna get the flag and an insignia uh, you'll be saving about five dollars versus the normal price in the store and here if you already own the Orkin you are going to get 18 million 750,000 credits. That works out to 12,500 doubloons. We'll convert that many credits. So you can buy 18,750,000 credits by going up here and doing the conversion to convert doubloons to credits. So all in all, this does look like a pretty good deal, especially if you do get the new commander so uh, in the past, the only way to get Swirsky was to buy either the Orkin or the Biscuit, the Black Swia. And so now it looks like the only way to get this new Dewey type commander may be to buy the Legendary Bundle. I'm probably gonna be spending this amount of money in the game anyway. And uh, I'm always looking to get more resources, especially credits. So for me, uh, this is something that I think I'm going to go ahead and do. So pay attention to the amount of credits up there on top. I have 8.3 million credits. So when I go ahead and purchase this, that number goes up to 27.1 million credits now. So I did get the uh, 18,750,000 credits plus the flag and the insignia. There was a similar deal like this in the store a year ago, but that was for the Graf Spey, and I went ahead and did that at the time. So, okay, so let's go and take a look at the ship and see if that new commander shows up. He will not show up in the commander list. And the Orkin already has Jersey Swirsky. So let's see if, there you go. So Conrad Helfrich does show up. So you do get that new commander by buying the Orkin. So there you go. Base trait is Vesperity, increases the ship's AA damage per second and it will increase the movement speed. Inspirations are Eric Bay for Shifty, improves the destroyer concealment and Jersey Swirsky, hide and seek, increases the ship concealment rating. So this is your classic double concealment setup. As for skills, I have Contact is Eminent, which will increase the torpedo speed. Then I have Look at Me Now to increase the ship concealment rating. Then I have Back in Stock, which will reduce the torpedo launcher reload time. And then I have Steer Clear, which will improve the ship steering and reduce the steering gear repair time. And then over here for Legendary Skill, I have selected Unstoppable reduces the engine repair time, gains a reduced mobility with the disabled engine and or rudder, and the range to the enemy ship to activate the special effect is three kilometers. Upgrading to legendary rank two will increase the radius to four and a half kilometers. All right, so let's look at the stats with this setup here. And the important thing is the torpedo reload time, I think is 67.2 seconds now. Maximum damage is 10,700. Range is nine kilometers. Torpedo speed has a little bit of an increase of 69 knots. And the concealment is 5.3 kilometers. But in general, these stats will not really change all that much. 
70 second reload time with Swirsky, 10,700 maximum damage, 9 kilometer range, and the speed is a little bit slower with Swirsky at 65 knots, but you have 100 concealment here of 5.1 kilometers. Okay, well that's it for uh, a quick look at how I've got the ship set up with Jersey Swirsky and Conrad Hilfrich. So either one that you use, I guess, would be okay. If you don't have Swirsky, Hilfrich is still going to be okay. It won't be ideal, but it will be okay. So let's go out in a standard battle and check out a highlight. All right, so we have Hilfridge commanding the Orkin. First time I've got him out. We're going to take a look at the teams here. Ooh, Spartan Fox 43. I thought that was Spartan Elite there for a second. Holy cow, almost got me excited. Uh, not to be, though. All right, so... Uh, Three destroyers spawned in front of B. So I guess I'm going to come up here and check it out a little bit. Without smoke here on the Orkin, you definitely want to be careful. But 5.3 kilometer range is not completely terrible. It's not that great. But if you didn't have Swirsky, this is about uh, what the average player would be faced with. So in that way, this is a good match to uh, check out the Orkin with its capability with the new commander. So let me see another Ship popped up there. I guess they're on top of each other. It's the Ganice now. And the New Mexico. So there's obviously. There he is. And so now I've told everybody where I'm at. I'm going to get obliterated without support from my team. So this is rough without a uh, little bit of smoke here. So you got to do some kiting. Okay, now my team is starting to get in the game. That is good. And some more misses. That is awesome. I don't know how well it's going to hold out, but there. Now I am not spotted, so I did escape relatively unscathed there. But I did give up the capture points, so they are capturing B at the moment. And there's that smoke screen, so maybe I can come around this island here and get some torpedoes in the smoke screen. A lot of times these guys will just sit there and then you've got an easy mark. There it looks like on the side of my uh, Orkin I got a big hole in the hull. You can see it glowing there a little bit. That's uh, kind of cool graphics. But I'm just going to sit here for a second and see what's going to happen with these torpedoes. I do have a friendly battleship here, which will attract some of the fire, I'm sure. I need and they've already got B, so that is not good. I guess we'll try to get in here and uh, take it. We almost had C. That got reset. There's the Monahan. Engine 
boost deactivated. Nice work. All right, the Monahan is uh, trying to get away, and I'm getting shot at by uh, their entire team over here, it looks like. And I am successfully evading most of these shots. Let's see if these shells hit. So the auto aim says. They are getting some hits on him. It looks like he does not have unstoppable. So that is awesome. We might actually get a kill here. Okay, now we're going to, it looks like. He doesn't have much left. Another hit should do it. Uh, someone else got him. I was hoping for the kill. But 23 main gun hits, so the Orkin does reload pretty quickly. Now we're going to take some shots at the New Mexico. See where the New Mexico's going. It's a good vantage point behind this island here. So we're going to stay here and just uh, continue to hit this New Mexico. He does look kind of vulnerable, actually. out here. This is going to be a great target for these torpedoes. It's a great target right now for these main guns. All right. Very nice. All right, so now I am going to go after these battleships over here and try to help capture B. Obviously, if you can at all... Uh, make it happen. You do want to capture these bases. A lot of times I don't because I'm not really all that great at gunfights. But I guess I'm getting better. I'm going to hit the speed boost and try to get in here. That is not great right there. In fact, that's uh, kind of bad. Sixty-three main gun hits though, so that is a pretty good amount of hits. And yeah, we really did not need that ship to be destroyed, but we are ahead in the map. Uh, Normandy is not a threat at this point. Since I was smart enough to use the radar on that Monaghan, I do not have a radar left now to see where the Ganesse now is. So for all I know, he's going to sneak up on me. But if we do capture this base, we will be in a good position to win the match. There is a Ganesse now. Is that the same Ganesse now, or is there two Ganesse nows in the match? No, that's the Ganesse now. So I have no problem with a Ganesse now taking this base. I have nobody here to take this base. So this is awesome. I am going to go and try to get the Normandy there. So that is great. There will be some uh, good XP right there. So we captured the base by ourselves, and it looks like we only have two battleships left. So the maiden voyage with the new pan-European commander it looks like it is going to be a big time victory. So that would be great. And since the Normandy 
is uh, pretty much occupied with the Arizona. I'm going to try to sneak up on it and take some torpedo hits. If he's going to be around by the time I get there, he may not be around. There's another hit. I think if I go around to the left of the island, it's going to take way too much time. So we just have the Ganesse now over there in the Normandy. So it kind of looks like the Normandy is making a big turn. Looks like he's not going to be around much longer because of the uh, Arizona right there. But still, let's see if we can uh, All right, well, the Normandy is gone, and that is the end of the match. So that is awesome. And here it's a big-time victory, 247,000 credits, 18,000 damage only on 64 main gun hits, no torpedo hits. Uh, let's check out and see how we did on the team result. Fourth place, not bad. And we made 172,000 by the time it was all said and done. So, okay, so that's a little look at the Orkin with Conrad Helfich. Obviously, if you get in the right kind of uh, battle, you're going to get much better battle performance. But uh, right off the bat, uh, he's not really that terrible. It was a good match. I did enjoy it. So there you go on the Orkin with Conrad Helfich. This is the Jaguar, and I'll see you on the high seas. Thanks for watching. Hit subscribe if you like it.